COVID-19 has been disruptive to the world beyond many people's belief, but it is here. And what do we need to do to make sure we get through this sanely, even with some appreciation of some of the things that maybe we um, had ignored in the past, but then also just as important, how do we emerge stronger, smarter, and set the world up, position it for future generations so it is productive. So with me, somebody behind uh, an effort to do this is Amru Patel, and who is the uh, founder, uh, chairman of letsbecoronavirus.org. So Amru, great to see you again. I mean, I've seen you in New York and Malta and all this, and um, it's great yeah, to Yeah, absolutely. To you. Always great to see you, Jane. Yeah, and I'm really happy um, that to be a part of this website that you started. And, could you just tell me kind of what is the purpose? Let's be coronavirus yeah. Okay, so the Let's Beat Coronavirus.org initiative um, started when I came back from Miami, uh, which was third week of January. So, you know, in late January, everyone heard there was some sort of virus around in China. And immediately, you know, alarm bells went ringing in my head, and I said, and, and, you know, I travel a lot, like almost 100 flights in seven months I did, you know. And I said, this is serious. Can you imagine the number of people traveling? If it's anything to do with how SARS was, this will get ugly. So I said, let's do something. And having been through that and the dot-com era and the property boom and the bust, the financial crisis, I said, this thing's going to have a huge impact. And I looked at the lessons. And the people who got affected over there was people losing jobs, people couldn't pay mortgages, people becoming homeless. All these things went through my mind. And I said, so, wow, how can I help? Everyone should be digital. Everyone should be online. Everyone should have, uh, you know, like what we are all doing now, Zoom. But I said, with this virus, this will become a norm. Me as a technology person, for you know, more than two and a half decades worth of experience, I said, why don't I help people go through a digital transformation, no matter what type of business it is? We're more reliant on technology now than ever before, which is crazy. Like six months ago, I would have thought, how can we become more reliant? But here we are. I mean, I'm in New York, you're in Romania, we're talking on Zoom. I mean, it's, it's kind of amazing. So you really think the technology can kind of help us emerge from this stronger, uh, more globally. I'm going to start a Let's Beat Coronavirus uh, Take the Challenge uh, initiative very soon is, again, coming back to the 90s, when we were preaching and I was evangelizing, everyone should be online and we used to get, constantly say, we need to put a dot in dot com, no matter what business it is. So in that, I look at the people who will get hurt most are the small, medium-sized businesses, purely because of cash flow, purely because they haven't got a clue. Whilst it's natural for me to, you know, do anything from, uh, uh, you know, websites to Zooms to technology implementations to strategy stuff to uh, e-commerce sites, I do these things in my sleep and know how to do these visionary things. There are millions and millions of people who haven't got a clue where to even start. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be surprised how many people don't even know how to initiate and create a Zoom link, for example. Now, what I'm saying is, I don't care what type of a business you are. There are ways you can increase your footprint and your reach from home and not touch people. I'll give you some simple examples. Okay. I've got some friends who are mechanics, okay? He says, yeah, but look, we have to fix car. We have to repair it and touch it and do all these things. I said, here's a solution for you. Can you imagine putting a, 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 an, what we call an IoT device yeah, onto their diagnostic panel, which is underneath the car, which every person, when they go to a garage, you can just remotely be connected to the service center who is in your vicinity, they will log in. You can go through the mobile. With a mobile app, we say that, um, look at the status of your car. So you've got, I don't know, tire pressure or an oil or an engine system or something wrong. And you could normally fix this remotely using AI and robotics. People are even doing operations with consultants in the other part of the world. So no matter what business you are, you can have a digital transformation 
in that business. I guess the last question then, Maru, is where does somebody go to just start to learn about this stuff? Because these are concepts that are very early in technology. A lot of people, yes. you know, they, they're experts at their own field. They don't know how to do blockchain or whatever. So where do they go to start to learn? Absolutely. So this is, this is what we are trying to do with our Let's Beat Coronavirus uh, movement. So where people have certain uh, basic uh, challenges for one or better word, okay? So they might say, you know, I have X, Y, and Z type of business. Where can I take it going online? So we're gonna do lots of free videos and advice on if you are this type of business, this is the kind of things you can do as a vision. If you're that type of business, we are gonna do this. The next thing I said is we're doing a challenge. So the way to move it, I'm gonna uh, challenge people in this sort of field where I have hundreds of people in, in my connection, as you know, who are visionaries, who are technology experts. And I'll say, okay, my challenge to you for Let's Beat Coronavirus is go and help one or two people transition onto an online thing and do it globally. Awesome. Thank you so much, Maru, for what you're doing. And That's you the for the media. And you uh, for the media. <laughs> and I hope, hope to see you in person again soon. Oh, so. <laughs> big hugs. And you as well. Thank you. Bye.